My name is Bridie Lee Bartleet and I'm the Director of the Queensland Conservatorium Research Centre here at Griffith. I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land upon which we work here at Southbank, the Jagara and Turrbal people, and to pay my respects to their elders past and present. I'd also like to extend that respect to the Warramungu and Welpuri elders and artists who we've had the great pleasure of working with in Central Australia over many years. I think it's a real testament to Griffith University that it now has a graduate attribute that is dedicated and devoted to working with First Peoples here in Australia. To me, as an educator, it says two very important things. The first is that as a university, we need to celebrate and recognise the immense cultural strength that we have here in Australia. The First Peoples of Australia are part of the longest living cultures in the world. And the strength, the wisdom, the knowledge and the resilience that is part of the First Peoples of this country is something that we can all learn from and benefit from engaging with. It also says something else to me. It says that as a university, we recognise that great injustices have been inflicted upon the First Peoples of this country. And policies and practices over generations have denied them their human rights, their dignity and the sovereignty that is justly theirs. As an educator, this really interesting and complex landscape with such immense cultural strength and such a pressing need for social justice really excites me. It's a space that we've been working in since 2009. With an arts-based service learning program, the Conservatorium has been running in partnership with Barclay Regional Arts and Wenandjikari Music Centre up in Central Australia in Tennant Creek. If you're not too sure where that is, it's about two and a half thousand kilometres from Brisbane. And you can see on the map where we are now here on South Bank and where we work up in Warramungu country. You might ask why we've travelled so far. And the answer is really quite simple. We were invited. And I think in any kind of work like this, that invitation is so key. We were invited to go up and work with amazing artists, musicians and elders on community projects that really turn to the arts as an important way of connecting cultures. Each year we go up, the agenda isn't determined by me as the academic from the East Coast. The community decides what they want the students to work alongside with them on. The importance of this project is that it begins and it ends with relationships. We believe that we can't teach our students about First Peoples culture through a textbook, through a website, through some kind of tokenistic lecture by me, a non-Indigenous academic. Students learn with and engage with the strengths but also the need for justice by developing relationships with elders and artists and musicians and by creating things together. There have been many incredible outcomes from this work. Many learning outcomes where the students have really come to know and understand and engage with First Peoples culture, its great wisdom and strength. But they've also had to take a good hard look at themselves and who they are and where they come from and gone into a really interesting process of critiquing their own lives and who they are as Australians. There have also been some really interesting employment outcomes where students have realised that maybe they don't want to just follow a usual career path on the East Coast and some have taken up amazing teaching jobs and positions up in very remote parts of Australia. And the picture you can see now is of James, who after the first year of participating in our program, went and became the manager of the Music Centre up in Tennant Creek and each year is part of the festival production team, which is a really amazing outcome for someone who was destined to, to live his musical life on the Gold Coast originally. There are also incredible community outcomes. Each year we work on things that are important to the community. We've helped to develop arts infrastructure, run music programs in the holidays for school kids and also played a really pivotal role in developing and delivering a, a, an amazing festival, the Desert Harmony Festival. 
People say, well, what advice would you give to me if I wanted to do something like this? I think the important thing to remember is that programs like this hinge on relationships. And those relationships take time to build. We need to sit down and privilege that relationship building before we talk about any kind of learning outcomes that might come from it. I also think there's immense wisdom and knowledge and strength here at Griffith. We have an incredible council of elders, we have elders in residence, and amazing academics here, indigenous academics, who I'm sure would be very happy to sit down and have a conversation and to provide advice. The most important thing is to actually ask and to listen in, in terms of what is needed and what might be useful.